My, did I finish this other quest? That's for Grandport. Grandport would be Coastlands. No, I didn't finish it. But the fuck do I get this? Solution, bring the Oh, Quatrite Bloom. Oh, I might have gotten that actually already. I didn't realize it was a bloom. Okay. Can I steal from you? Oh. Age 17, a descendant of the renowned Hornburgian Knight, and protector of the Dragonstones left to her by her father. As she spends most of her time in Doran, she doesn't have many friends, though she feels a special connection with her pen pal, a young girl living far away. No, <sighs> oh, Noah, I do hope you're alright. She never left my letters unanswered for so long before. I don't know what else to do with myself, so I came here. Mm. I do hope that nothing is the matter. Alright. Someone over here. There you go. Is that a quatrite flower? Ah, this smell. It transforms me back to my homeland in an instant. When I left my land, my parents gave me quatrite flowers. They told me that I should be the hardy quatrite, that no, lo no, no matter how difficult things became, I would grow strong and bloom beautifully. Now, he... I've now I've not thought of that day for a very long time now. Thank you. Perhaps I should work a bit harder. And save up enough to go back home to my parents. I could build them a fine house surrounded by fields of quatrite. As long as we can still smell the quatrite, we won't ever miss each miss one another. Right, let's just see if I can do anything with this other one over here. Page 77. Ings Log 39205. I have nothing left to write. Nothing worth writing at any rate. And yet I must press on, else I betray the promise I made her so long ago. So I write. For her. No. Ah. I hope you're chronicling your days of diaries record. Okay. Interesting. I I'd unlocked it before. Anyways, Alphas and Impresario. Uh, Client. West Warkey Trail. Defeat is there I'd Tiger. Okay, well we go to Swarky. How do we beat the tiger, though? How do I know where to find the tiger? It doesn't tell me where to find the tiger. So I'm assuming that's the North Swarky Trail. I'm assuming West is west of this. Obviously. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah, West Swarky Trail is down that way.
Where is the Azuride? Where can we go for this? Oh, does it, does it just appear when you... Wait, where did they find her? I don't see anyone on my map here. Okay, so they went to the North Warky Trail. Okay, they went, yeah, they went to the West Warky Trail. Almost, they're almost there. So where is this woman? From here. She went this way, it looks like. Should be just down here. She's not there yet. How do I unlock this one? Interesting. Maybe I'll make a little notes thing. Okay. Alphas and the Impresario. Okay, so we'll go back to that one later. So now we need to go to Arena Aspirations in Victor's Hollow. Alright, actually, have we done this one? So, this is a Woodlands. We did you, and then we did the. We did Ariana, didn't we? Frostlands. Ariana's also. Have we done Ariana? Did we not do Ariana? Ariana. Oh no, Ariana would be the sister. Okay. Ariana. And still snow. It's flame spruce. Alright. Ariana and still snow. Guide. Guide client to Natalia. You. Age 29. After the fall of the noble family she served some years ago, she was coerced into moving to Still Snow. She was released from her job at the brothel and now looks for a new line of work. Right. Guide Ariana. Sick. Quickly check out these other side quests here too, while we're here. Dama. Someday I'm going to leave this village and become a singer. It's my greatest dream, but I cannot go anywhere until my family pays off our debts. My father is, well, with him being the way that he is, I cannot simply abandon my family to pursue my own dreams. Alright, so I've obviously gotta find something for that. I don't know if there's someone in here. No, no. I'm an inventor by trade. Right now I'm working on a portable heat source that one could easily carry from place to place. But I need more materials to work with. If I'm to make a functional prototype, I haven't even made it as far as that yet. Coal, flax, and a handy metal container. If only I had those three things, I'm quite sure I could get it working. Hey, I got that. I got satisfactory coal, adequate flax, and a portable pot. Oh, you've got just what I was looking for. Please, by any chance, would you be willing to part with those things? Thank you. Now I can finally make my prototype. With a sturdy metal container like this, and with proper venting, I should be able to put the coal and flax inside, and night to... Mm-hmm. Yes, this should work. And there, I put the whole thing into a good woven sack and it is done. 
Oh, it's so toasty. I feel warm to my core. In a snowy, excuse me, in a snowy land like this, keeping yourself warm is absolutely paramount. Look at the roofs of the buildings, for example. You see how the snow piles up? Well, one must knock the snow off quite regularly or the weight becomes too much for them. But how do you keep yourself warm when you're out knocking snow from the roof? You can't have a stove in your pocket and good luck starting a fire in the snow. But if you have one of these, you can warm yourself even when you're out clearing snow. Tucking one of those these into a jacket would even keep children warm when they are playing out in the winter snows. And if you're feeling so comfortable in the warmth that you happen to fall asleep, there's no worry about things burning out of control. My invention, people can feel warm and safe and comfortable. Thank you so much for your contribution to making my dream a reality. Alright, so we need to lead Ariana to Natalia and Stoneguard. Stoneguard is all the way here. No, that's Quarry Quest. Stoneguard's over this way. And the cobblestone. Stoneguard. Natalia. Nope, you're a townsperson. You're not a woman. Gotta find Talia. Ooh, travel banter. There was quite a crowd here before. Whatever was the occasion. A wedding parade, they were saying. You don't say. I've assisted at a number of weddings myself. Ah, indeed. Wakes and weddings alike all fall within the purview of the Church of the Flame, do they not? That's right. Needless to say, weddings are far more lively and extravagant. The highlight is when the bride and groom stand over the priest and blow out the twelve candles. That's when the couple makes their vows to the twelve gods, right? Yes, although the precise words of the vow often differ depending on local custom. They usually involve making a promise to face any hardships together and praying for the gods to watch over them. After the vows have been said, the newlywed blow out the candles. Come to think of it, I remember seeing a long wall of white cloth hung up around the candles. Indeed, the bride's family provides the cloth, but do you know the reason for it? I figured it was merely to keep out the breeze. In a sense, it is said that, the, that ill winds blow out from the afterworld when couples make the vows. The white sheets form a barrier between this world and the next, keeping death and misery at bay. You don't say. Live and learn. When the time comes for either of you to be wed, I will be honored to preside over the ceremony. Uh, sure. I shall keep that in mind, should such a day come, that is. I don't think either of them are too keen on getting married. Uh, just Elfin. <laughs> Those two are women. I don't think you're a woman. Oh, you're a woman. Mm. No, you're a townsperson, though. You are not a woman. You look like an old woman. Yeah. Neighborly grandma. You a woman? Oh. You're just a townsperson. Um, check down here. Here's the priest guy. Exotic grandma. I don't think Natalia would be in here. This is basically a dungeon, yeah. Not in there. Oh, let's check in here. You don't look like a woman. I haven't stolen from you yet. Guardian Amulet, and Mighty Belt. Age 40, a notorious philanderer of a noble household. Ever since inheriting his family fortune, he has shamelessly indulged in his perverse pleasures. Doubtless his uncle and Goldshire disapproves of his behavior. 
I see. Where's Natalia? Where would this bitch be? Go south? Okay. We'll have to go this way. Did I not see her? Wait, there's no one there for me. She's supposed to be there. Okay, well. Guess I'm not doing that one right now then. Ariana again. One. I've passed. I think I've done Ashlon the Beastmaster. Where was he from? Yeah, he's from the woods. Yeah, I've done Ashlon the Beastmaster. One, two, and three. At Journey's End. Wait, did that journey's end? Doesn't look like it. Um. Client impress CR. Sorry, I work trail. Defeat all bosses in the Gate of Fennis. I don't know where that is. I think I have to skip that one because I don't know. There was no impressario. Um. At journey's end. Okay, let's try uh, back with Bale from Wellspring. What area is Wellspring in again? It's Wellspring. Okay, Wellspring is Sunlands. So I probably haven't done that one. I don't even think I have it unlocked, looks like. So, Clamp Bale and Wellspring. There's a lot of uh, quests here. One of your scouts reported seeing a huge serpent lately, or one of our scouts, out in the quicksand caves. No one believed the poor lad. He went after those caves on his own, claiming he proved us all wrong. Of course, if we really were such a terrible beast, we need to take care of it. We can't leave such a monster in check. We'll obviously have to go fight something. Excuse you, I'm at 88% here. Age 32, a burly man of still snow. His love of sweets has spurred him to travel the world in search of new and delectable treats. He's planning to write a recipe book of all his favorites for the benefit of those who enjoy them as much as he does. No. Yeah. I've traveled all the way from still snow in the far north in search of sweet delicacies to delight my tongue. I thought that perhaps the dates which they sell in this region would be a good addition to my kitchen. I have heard that they impart a delightful sweetness to any meal. But the dates I've tasted here, hmm, they have an undeniable aftertaste that quite ruins the effect. Somewhere in this wide world, there must be the perfect sweetener, capable of pleasing the tongue without such flaws. Got beetroot! Oh, something new to try? I'll be happy to do that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. This does indeed have promise. It is clean, pure sweetness indeed. But why? It looks nothing more than a perfectly common beet. What's that? You say this bee is from my homeland of still snow? Ah, that's it. It must be the cold. The cold must cause the beets to develop more sugars as they grow. With this kind of sugar content, I think that I could simply squeeze the roots to extract a sweet juice. Haha! -ha! Sometimes you can travel the whole world only to find the thing that you sought was lying right outside your front door the entire time. What kind of gourmand am I? Overlooking the perfect sweet right before me. Clearly, there is still much for me to learn. I'm tempted to start my journey anew, but this time with my eyes properly open to the natural bounty surrounding me. Thank you for giving me a taste of a whole new world. Cool. 
Age 20. Born with beauty and grace, this charming woman is seemingly unable to avoid trouble as she journeys through the Sunlands. <sighs> this is most troubling, most troubling indeed. Oh, you. I know your face. You're the same passerby who helped me before in Sunshade. My name is Rhea. You saved me from a villain, you recall? My troubles have continued unabated since then, I'm afraid. A thief snuck into my room at the inn and stole something of great value from me. Among my belongings, I had a certain letter, you see. But without that letter... No, it doesn't even bear thinking. Born to Rome. That is not what I need. 